Tales from the Americas Uncle Coyote's Last Mischief From Nicaragua Long ago, it is said, Uncle Coyote's mischief was known everywhere. He lived in the open fields and roamed around the outskirts of the town looking for choice morsels of food. Smaller creatures were afraid of Uncle Coyote because he was very clever and always hungry. But Uncle Rabbit wasn't afraid. Uncle Rabbit was clever, too, and it was he who often persuaded Uncle Coyote to play mischievous jokes on others. Whenever something bad happened in the village, people would blame it on Uncle Coyote. One day, Uncle Coyote was sleeping under a mango tree. He was awakened by Uncle Rabbit, who said, Wake up, Uncle Coyote, wake up. I've just been to the Padre's garden, and there is a beautiful ripe waterman watermelon there. Uncle Coyote woke up at once, and his mouth began to water at the thought of a ripe melon. Don't stand there, Uncle Rabbit, Uncle Coyote said. Let's go and see the Padre's garden. They went along the hedge at the edge of the Padre's garden, so that the housekeeper wouldn't see them. And when they came to the beautiful green watermelon, Uncle Rabbit whispered, Let's eat it, Uncle Coyote. Yes, Uncle Coyote replied, let's eat it. And with his sharp claws, Uncle Coyote cut the melon in two. Then he began to eat one half, and Uncle Rabbit began to eat the other. Soon there was nothing left but the empty rind. Uncle Coyote was happy. But as they stood there licking their lips, they heard the Padre's housekeeper say, "'Tonight we will have that ripe watermelon to eat.' Uncle Coyote said to Uncle Rabbit, "'Oh, no, now see what trouble I'm in. She will find the melon gone, and I'll be blamed.' "'I have an idea,' Uncle Rabbit said. Let's fill the empty rind with mud, and put the two halves back together again. The Padre's old housekeeper is very nearsighted. She'll never know the difference. Oh, what a beautiful, clever idea, Uncle Coyote said. They filled the empty watermelon shells with mud, and then stuck the two halves together again, after which they scurried away. Uncle Coyote, full of watermelon, became sleepy, and he went back to his favorite spot to take a nap. As for Uncle Rabbit, he went back to the edge of the village to see what was going on. He watched the Padre's housekeeper come and take the melon from the garden. And after a while, he heard a great commotion in the Padre's house. When the noise had subsided a little, Uncle Rabbit went into the kitchen. There he saw the old housekeeper carrying on. She was furious. "'What has happened that makes you so upset?' he asked. "'Oh, that Uncle Coyote!' He not only ate the Padre's melon, but he filled the rind with mud, and when that when the Padre cut it open tonight, his plate was filled with dirt. Oh, that good-for-nothing coyote. Well, Uncle Rabbit said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring Uncle Coyote here tonight for you. Oh, Uncle Rabbit, you are so good, the housekeeper said. Here's a head of lettuce for you. Uncle Rabbit took the lettuce and ate it wondering how he'd managed to bring Coyote into the house. All this time, Uncle Coyote was sleeping, but he was suddenly awakened by the high-pitched singing of a cicada in a nearby tree. He was quite annoyed to have his sleep interrupted, so he got up and went to the tree and told the cicada to stop her singing. Uncle Coyote lay down again and closed his eyes, but the cicada kept singing in her high-pitched voice. Uncle Coyote came back angrily and told the cicada that she didn't stop he would punish her greatly. When Uncle Coyote lay down again, the cicada slipped out of her old, dried-up skin, as cicadas do once every year. She put a stone inside the old skin and left it right on the branch where she had been sitting. Then she flew to another branch and began to sing even louder than before. When Uncle Coyote heard the high-pitched sound of the cicada again, he was furious. He got up and ran to the tree, shouting, If you don't stop that noise at once, I'll come up there and eat you. But the cicada kept singing, and Uncle Coyote, losing the last shreds of his patience, leapt up and snapped at the old skin sitting on the branch. He bit very hard, and when his teeth closed on the stone inside, he was very surprised. There was a terrible ache in his mouth, and he discovered that some of his teeth were broken. Uncle Coyote rolled on the ground, howling with pain. It was just at this moment that Uncle Rabbit found him. Oh, my teeth, my teeth! Uncle Coyote was moaning. That gave Uncle Rabbit an idea, and he said, Let us go to the Padre's housekeeper. She'll give you something for your toothache. So Uncle Coyote hurried Uncle Rabbit to the Padre's house. 
The minute they stepped into the kitchen, the housekeeper called out, Ah, Uncle Coyote, take that for eating the Padre's watermelon! And she lighted Coyote's tail with a firebrand. Feeling pain in his tail as well as his teeth, Uncle Coyote turned and fled. He didn't even hear Uncle Rabbit shouting, Goodbye, Uncle Coyote, with the burned-out tail and the broken teeth. Uncle Coyote headed straight for the river, and when he arrived there, he leapt into the water to cool down the pain. From that day to now, Uncle Coyote has been seen no more. Adios, tío Coyote. Por la quemada, dientes quebrados. Goodbye, Uncle Coyote, with the burned-out tail and the broken teeth.